Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to race number nine of the Mountain Dew Live Wire Truck Series. We are here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway for 27 laps of racing in the Rhino Linings 350. Zachary Rogers and Nick Pericles are on the front row. Robert Rogers, Nicholas Samudio in row two. Colby Alves, Emily Brooks, row three. Dylan Young, Michael Santos, row four. With Philip Goldberg and Eric Powers in row five. So after today, we'll be halfway through the Truck Series season. Right now, Michael Santos still has a pretty good points lead over the rest of the drivers in the field. KBM doing a pretty good job. If I'm correct, I believe Alan Cavanero is now top 10 in points. So every driver out of that stable doing a very good job this season. And um, if a rumor is circling that we might, I might, we might do uh, two divisions for Cup Series next season, if we were to do that... We would lose part-timers in Code Red Series, but we would still keep Truck Series action. As the drivers are going to start their engines, they are running the same amount of laps as the Code Red Series, even though the miles on the race says 350 versus 300. Anyway, get you to the start of the race in a moment. Get ready to go green flag racing. After Vegas, the Truck Series drivers are not heading to Texas, so they have a week off. And then they will go to Dubai, but then they will have another week off. So after today, um, not really any truck series action going to be happening before the chase. They will run uh, eight of the chase for eight of the ten chase tracks that the Cup Series is running. So anyway, green flag is out. The Rhino Linings 350 is underway. Let's see how fast these trucks go here compared to the Cup drivers. His father, son and father in the top two right now. So the trucks are topping off around 190 miles per hour. Uh, lap one is complete. Robert Rogers underneath the 31 looking for the race lead. Here comes Dylan Young, won the Cup Series race last week at Coca-Cola Super Speedway. And last week's winner, Philip Goldberg. And this really just reminds me of Ricky Raceway. So now Kyle Collins is going to make it three wide. Kyle Collins to the lead now. Connor Breton to the bottom. Now Max Newark to the bottom. He's got Ace Rogers and Chloe Baker behind him. Now Ace Rogers will look to lead a lap here, trying to help himself in the championship hunt. And it's just going to keep cycling. Skylar Dixon to the bottom. As they are starting to get more and more three wide. I saw the part-timers wreck around lap seven, I think it was. And this could be a real track where drivers are probably hoping Michael Santos finishes near the back. And Nico Tringali as well, because he's won three races this season already. Benjamin Tilton, the season one champion, is yet to win a race in the series. As we head towards the back, it looks like Tony Vieira and Cameron Gadu are a little back here. There's Michael Santos. All the way in the back here. So he might try to move to the bottom, maybe. And coming to 20 laps to go. 
As Cindy Vieira leads. Is trying to single file it out maybe here up front. So we have only had four different winners on the season weight. Five different winners. My, I'm sorry. Five different winners. Paul Sardinia to the bottom. Only two rookies have won. And they've only won one race apiece. That's Zachary Fitzwater and Philip Goldberg. Alan Cavanero up to the front now. And that four, number four Toyota. There's Zachary Fitzwater. There's Jim Morton the third. As they're getting more and more three wide throughout the field. Oh, that's a crash. That was that was a huge impact. Paul Sardini will lead it at the caution, and I think we might have just lost a lot of cars because that looked like a big, big, big impact. That was all of a sudden the car just went right to the right. We've got Max Newarth here. There it is. Sean Hopple in the 63. Cindy Vieira in the 35. And these guys are trying to sort it out back here, but I'm actually surprised we don't have more drivers. Oh, Nico Tringali's got damage. Looks like Colby Alves. Oh, Benjamin Tilton's got a lot of hood damage. Paul Sardini is your race leader. Let's see what caused our caution here today. First caution today. So all that really happens here is Robert Rogers is just going to... Oh, the 98 got into the 07, and that gets into the 02, and there you go. And they just slam into the wall. That's Sean Hoppo, Sidney Vieira, Sam Rogers. As you see, all these drivers here getting involved. There's Skylar Dixon spinning around. And everybody's pretty much wrecking at this point. You can see Sean Harper with heavy damage. You just can't even see anything in all this smoke. There's just nowhere to go. People are trying to put the brakes on and everything here. Oh, wow. There's 29 sliding through the grass into the 17. Let's watch this in full speed. Oh my goodness gracious. Thank goodness for safer barriers. Let's take some onboards with this one. Try it on board with Dylan Young. And just the slightest of little rubbing causes that. And on board with Colby Alves. He just had nowhere to go. He got into the 17. Board with Robert Rogers. Yeah, he just got turned ever so slightly into the into the 63 truck there. One more on board. And on board, Sean Harple. Thank goodness for safer barriers. Ready to go back green flag racing with 14 laps to go. And surprising thing, we only have five drivers out of the race. Sam Rogers, Robert Rogers, Cindy Vieira, Sean Hopple, and Benjamin Tilton. Everybody else has continued, which is kind of surprising. But I guess if a lot of people did a good job putting the brakes on. Anyway, top 10 rundown on the restart. Paul Sardinia leads. Zachary Fitzwater second. Jim Morton third. Third. <laughs> Chris Crandall fourth. Alan Cavanero fifth. Eric Power sixth. Dylan Young, 7th, Emily Brooks, 8th, Caleb Hoppin, 9th, Mason Powers, 10th. As we look back and try to find anybody here with damage in the back. You got Peter Sands has no hood. Same with the Colby Alves and Nico Tringali is suddenly going to take a hit. So I'm sure Nico, as much as he wants his teammate Michael Santos to do good, I bet he's wishing that he, um, he's hoping that he doesn't because he doesn't want to lose ground. Anyway, green flag is back out. 14 laps to go. Jim Morton the third looking for second on the restart. I'm wondering if they're going to catch any lap traffic. Paul Sardinia is going to maintain the lead after the restart. It's very clear that three wide can't three wide is good. 
here, but the slightest mistake in turns three and four causes a major problem. And up 54 car is slow, 29 is slow, 19. 19 is more up to speed than the 29. It looks like these people just were trying to get around people. But everything looks fine back here. Michael Santos up to 20th. And they're forming a bit of a pack up here. Paul Sardinia maintaining the lead. Is now they're going to go three wide. But not for long. And hopefully they can just stay two wide. Which is not going to happen. Now they're back to two wide. They keep looking at three wide, though. Zachary Rogers making his way back up to the front. Could be looking for his second victory of the season. But Paul Sardinia has been maintaining the lead. This is just scary right here. Yeah, they're going to just keep going three wide. So let's just focus on the leader. Paul Sardinia trying to pull away here. Connor Breton coming back up to the front. It seems Kobe Alves might be slower than the 51, but these two are racing back here for 26th. Chloe Baker's slower. But they're somehow maintaining three wide up here. Uh, nine laps to go that time by. Paul Sardini continuing the lead. Jim Moore in the third coming up to the front. These guys got to know that they have to try to maintain a bit of a line here so they can catch the 10 truck. As Jim Morton III has now done that. Eight laps to go here. And I think they're going to catch these two. Oh, they already did. Well, this should be interesting. This might cause a caution, I'm guessing. Brakes on, everybody's scattering. Paul Sardinia's got the upper line advantage. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Paul Sardinia still has the clear advantage here. And they're just getting blocked by lap traffic here. This might not end well. Jim Morton the third into the lead. And now they finally clear Nico Tringali. Here comes Tony Vieira and some others. You got four trucks that just cleared them. And now everybody else is starting to clear them. But Paul Sardinia got stuck behind the wrong person. And Michael Santos has made it by. I don't know if he's top 10, but. He isn't. Where is he? He's 11th. He's right there. Ace Rogers to the lead. They might catch Peter Sands. Oh, boy. That's close, close, close. Three wide for the lead. Alan Kevin Arrow on the bottom. As they're going to come to four laps to go. But here's your pack. And they caught Peter Sands. Kevin Arrow trying to get a run on the outside. Not happening. Nick Pericles to the bottom. Three to go. Peter Sands is going to end up blocking that higher groove. Mason and Eric Powers are by. And Michael Santos is by. Everybody's <laughs> no pleasure. He's just been dominating. He's getting lucky this season. Uh, they're not going to catch anybody else. 
Uh, Nick Pericles in the lead. Eric Powers coming up for looking for the lead. Two to go here at Vegas. Here comes Eric Powers, and now Caleb Hoffman's making it three wide for the lead here with two to go. Caleb Hoffman looking to give Ford its first win of the season in the Truck Series. Michael Santos is in the high groove. Maybe somebody, people are maybe going to hope he falls back some positions here. White flag is out. Battle on between the 92 and the 07. As it seems the trucks do a better job of maintaining speed. Eric Powers has been getting a bit of a run. Side by side down the back straightaway. As they come out of turn four, who is it going to be? Caleb Hoffman will win it. At Las Vegas. Wow, what a good finish. Nice side-by-side -side racing right there. Caleb Hoffman will come home victorious. Eric Powers coming home short in second. Kyle Collins third. Paul Sardinia comes back up for fourth. Mason Powers fifth. Nick Pericles sixth. Um... Emily Brooks, 7th. Michael Santos, 8th. Uh, Zachary Fitzwater, ninth, And Nicholas Samudio, 10th. Hope you guys enjoyed the Truck Series race. Can't wait for the Code Red Series event. See you guys then.